Ah, nothing in life makes me feel more comfortable than spending a night in a hotel. That is, depending on how luxurious the hotel is. The nicer the hotel, the more comfortable. A freshly made bed, clean towels, a refreshing minibar, room service… The right hotel can provide you with anything you'll ever need to live comfortably, as long as you're paying. And of course, as these accommodations grow more and more extravagant, so does the bill. Not surprisingly, I was curious to find out how high this bill could get. What hotel offers the most expensive and, hopefully, most luxurious living experience? The answer to that question is the Mark Hotel. Not shockingly, the Mark Hotel is in Manhattan on the Upper East Side. The hotel was built in 1927, but in 2006 the building underwent a major renovation that lasted all of three years. By 2009, the insides of this historic building were completely replaced and upgraded. All of the inner workings of the hotel were reimagined by the famous designer, Jacques Grange. The outside was left untouched and its historic character has been maintained. New Yorkers frequent the building because it houses a Jean Georges restaurant as well as a Frederick Fakai salon. Celebrities visit the Mark annually to attend the Met Ball as it has become the go-to gathering spot before the extravagant festivities. Begin. And now, there is a new reason to come to the Mark Hotel, but only if you've got the cash flow. The Mark holds the record for the most expensive hotel suite in the world. At $75,000, anyone who's got a big enough pocket can enjoy the penthouse suite located on the 16th and 17th floors. Suite isn't the most accurate description, considering it consists of a living room with a 26-foot tall ceiling, five bedrooms, six bathrooms, two wet bars, and four fireplaces. The entire interior the space comes about 10,000 square feet, not to mention the 2,500 square foot rooftop terrace overlooking Central Park that the suite also includes. While the penthouse is not new, it only just recently became available to rent. Before the renovation was even finished, a family rented the penthouse for 16 months. Olivier Laudonnois, general manager for the Mark Hotel, explained that the family got a reduced price because they planned on living there for such a long period of time. If you're wondering how much coin that family ended up dropping, a nearby 10,000 square foot townhouse was selling for 24.7 million, while a 16 month stay at the current published rates would clock in at around 36.5 million. Lord Donois was the one who came up with the price for the penthouse suite. He also pointed out in an interview with Bloomberg, a competitor, the Ty Warner penthouse suite at the Four Seasons spans 4,500 square feet has four terraces, but only one bedroom, and goes for 50000 a night. There is no way we would price our penthouse at the same level, as it is so much bigger," says Lord Donois. Plus, guests are getting all the amazing services of the Mark. A rather feisty and completive respond from the man, if you ask me. At this point in the show, I'd like to stop and play what you could have bought instead of staying in the penthouse at the Mark Hotel. In today's feature, the topic will be cars. Instead of staying one night in the penthouse at the Mark, you could have bought a brand new Mercedes AMG C63S Coupe. Instead of staying two nights at the penthouse, you could have bought a new Nissan GTR, a new Jeep Wrangler, and throw in a Ford Fiesta. Instead of spending the whole weekend at the Mark, you could have bought a 1960 Rolls-Royce Phantom. Instead of staying four nights, ugh, okay, enough of that. Sorry, moving on. The national average it costs to build a hotel is about $22 million. The Mark Hotel isn't a particularly large building, but since it's in New York, let's say the cost it took to build the building was $30 million. If the hotel were to rent out the penthouse suite alone and have no other source of income, it would only take 400 days to break even with the price of making the hotel. There are plenty of expenses that the hotel covers besides the cost to build, but that just puts into perspective how much of a cash pit the luxury hotel business can be. If all that comes inside the incredible suite isn't enough, the Mark has some special toys up their sleeve that will surely tip you over. The suite includes round-the-clock to-the-door room service by John Georges and John Lobb Shoeshines. On top of that, anyone who books the suite has a 70-foot sailboat for charter at their disposal. Not to mention the complimentary bicycles and pedicabs for hire that can be used to explore the Big Apple. But the way the Mark really sets itself apart is its aspiration to personalize each experience to the buyer. Since heads of state, celebrities, 
and very wealthy businessmen are the ones renting out the suite. Simply offering them a Rolls Royce won't make any sort of impact considering the individual who's already paying $75,000 a night is probably in possession of a car like a Rolls Royce, if not their own motorcade. Instead, Olivier Laudonnois offers something a little more personal for penthouse guests. Him and his team try to work with the guests to understand what might really wow them. It could be a rare bottle of wine or sake that would impress the guest. If one happens to be interested in Star Wars, a statue of Han Solo might be placed on the terrace. Really, the possibilities are limited to the guest's imagination and wishes. It is a lot more work on our side to find these special amenities, but they are certainly a little more genuine," Lord Noir explains. Obviously, the accommodation is unbelievable, but after that, the little details have to be in line with the rest. That is our job, to find those little things. Another famed hotel in New York is the Plaza. This esteemed hotel offers a 4,500-square-foot, three-bedroom royal suite for approximately $40,000 a night. In it, it is decked out with 24-karat gold fixtures in the bathroom and offers a fully equipped fitness room and a chef's kitchen. The Mandarin Oriental down the road from the plaza prices its two-bedroom, 3,300-square-foot suite for an easy $36,000 a night. The standout feature of this suite is the contemporary art collection curated by Whitewall magazine. It's so exclusive, in fact, that any interested guests must call to book, as it doesn't appear on the hotel's website. But trust me, New York isn't the only place on Earth with amazing hotels like the Mark. Here are some other fancy hotels around the world that have broken the bank many times over. You'll live very much like royalty if you stay at the Raj Palace, a location truly fit for a king. This hotel is a restored ancient royal castle in India. The over-the-top Maharaja Pavilion cost a pricey $65,000 per night. The suite takes up multiple levels with double height ceilings, gorgeous crystal chandeliers, an extravagant terrace, and even a private museum. The decor of this palace is like something out of a James Bond movie. If you've got the funding to get a billfold big enough for this hotel, then you just might be James Bond. Las Vegas is a place known for its high rollers, so it's no surprise to see one of its hotels in the video. If you get lucky enough at the slots, I mean $35,000 kind of lucky, you can hit up the Palms Casino and rent out the Sky Villa. This two-floor, 9,000-square-foot villa, which comes with a private glass elevator, glass-encased pool, a couple of terraces, both massage and fitness rooms, and around-the-clock butler service, is the place to be in the entertainment capital of the world. You can travel quite literally like an A-list Hollywood star if you stay in the Grand Hyatt Can top-level room. That is, unless an actual A-list celebrity has already reserved the suite by the time you arrive. The Grand Hyatt Cannes is the go-to destination for the most well-off Hollywood stars during the annual Cannes Film Festival. At $41,000 a night and just under 18,000 square foot, yes, you heard correct, 18,000, the suite has a massive terrace with views of the famous Boulevard de la Croissant, as well as stunning views of the perfect Blue Bay and the hotel's own private beach. The next hotel has been billed as a resort in a resort. The Hilltop Estate at Luakala Island starts at $45,000 a night. The hotel was built at the peak of the island's green hills, and it leaves relaxing the only thing the guest has to do, as the suite comes with its own panoramic pool area, two guest houses, a private cook, a chauffeur, and even a nanny. The Connaught Hotel in London offers a unique experience with their top room simply titled The Apartment. Hotel rooms don't come more gorgeous than this lavender oasis. From $24,000 per night, the London spot in the Lux Mayfair district is steeped in natural light and decorated with perfect design. The interior designer's dream room also features a wraparound balcony and a personal butler. The interior just seems to softly whisper in the guest's ear, you have a lot of money. If you're wondering how many pools you get by paying $50,000 a night for a hotel room in Athens, Greece, the answer is two. Two pools. The Grand Resort Laganisi is a seaside resort that takes pride in its luxurious outdoor landscaping. The three-bedroom suite has two pools, one for the inside and one for the outside. In case it rains, I guess. 
It has a garden, a private beach, a massage area, a gym, and you get your own chef, butler, personal trainer, pianist, plus limo and helicopter service. I'm not sure how traffic is in Athens, but I guess it doesn't matter when you're staying in the royal villa at the Grand Resort Lagunisi. The Ashford Castle is just that, a castle. But conveniently, it also serves as one of the fanciest hotels in the world. Located in Mayo Island, this medieval Victorian-style castle is just absolutely massive. Guests will marvel at the stone structure, royalty, and girth. And whoever's in charge of cutting the grass at the Ashford needs a raise, because that lawn is looking pristine. The hotel is one of the few five-star resorts in Ireland, and of course serves as its own museum as the castle was built way back in 1228. I'm not quite sure what was happening in 1228, but it was a leap year, if you were wondering. The Montaña Magica Lodge in Chile is a unique hotel fit for, I guess, an Ewok or maybe an elf from a Disney movie. In any case, this magical hotel is a popular family destination that makes its guests feel as if they're in a fairy tale. The interior looks like a wacky log cabin, with all sorts of earthy decorations meant to submerge the guest in a truly unforgettable experience. The top of the small mountain-shaped, or more accurately, volcano-shaped hotel is a man-made water